Hello, this is a short presentation of the problem of deciding the satisfiability of a CNF formula, namely SAT. Propositional variables can take two possible values, false and true, which are called truth values. In this presentation, propositional variables will be represented by lowercase letters. An interpretation of any set of propositional variables consists in assigning a truth value to each variable of this set. A positive literal is a propositional variable. A negative literal is a negated propositional variable. Any positive literal A is said to be satisfied if the related variable A is set to true, and it is said to be falsified if the variable A is set to false. Any negative literal, not A, is said to be satisfied if the related variable A is set to false and falsified if the variable A is set to true. A non-empty clause is a disjunction of literals, namely either a literal or several literals connected by logical or operators. Such a clause is said to be falsified by any interpretation that falsifies all its literals. It is said to be satisfied by any interpretation that satisfies at least one of its literals. A conjunctive normal form formula, CNF formula for short, is a conjunction of clauses, namely either one clause or several clauses connected by logical AND operators. A CNF formula is said to be satisfied by any interpretation that satisfies all its clauses. Such an interpretation is said to be a model of this formula. Any interpretation which falsifies at least one clause of a CNF formula is said to falsify this formula. Let us consider the following example of a formula with five clauses. The 16 cells of this grid represent the 16 possible interpretations of the variables A, B, C, and D. The two ones that falsify the first clause are covered by the blue rectangle. The second clause is falsified by the four interpretations covered by the green slab. Please imagine that the right and left edges of the grid are connected. The third clause is falsified by the mallow slab. The fourth clause is falsified by the pink slab. And the fifth clause is falsified by the cyan slab. We immediately see that each interpretation is covered by at least one slab, then falsifies at least one clause. In such a case, the formula is said to be inconsistent. If we remove the first clause, the formula remains inconsistent. But if the second clause is removed, some interpretations are no longer covered. These are models of the formula. The formula is then said to be consistent. SAT is the problem of determining whether a given CNF formula is consistent. One can also say satisfiable, hence the name of the problem. SAT is an NP-complete problem. At this time, no currently known algorithm can solve this problem in polynomial time in the worst case, and nobody knows if such an algorithm exists. Thank you for watching.